What a party. You want to just apologize now for the whole episode that we don't have to say it again? You know what? You probably apologize. Never apologizing to you again. Welcome, everybody, to the gospel. 15 times. Sorry. Did I? Please. I got yelled at by someone, but, well, other than just you just now. Uh, I hear a makeup girl one time. I was like, stop apologizing. <laughs> you went pop collar. <laughs> Listen. Oh, tell the story of that shirt. This is my dad's work shirt. Oh, it's a cool yeah. shirt. Isn't it cool? Yeah. Yeah, my mom just, she had it. And I was like, I want that. I wear his shirts a lot. <laughs> this Weirdly. is uh, the gospel according to Jeremy. Are we rolling? With um, yeah, with Jennifer Dibler and Drew Powell. And uh, happy hey. Memorial Day weekend to you. Oh. Um, so, you know, this is... This is going to be a weird question, but what are we m- memorializing? I was just thinking about that. Aren't we memori- memorizing? We're memorizing people who died in combat. That's what it is, right? Yeah. Okay. Because because Veterans Day is for people who have served. Okay. And Memorial Day is for people, people have who died. Died. But my dad died probably from stuff from the military. Okay, so it applied to him. Not really. But what's though. weird in the parades and stuff? Where it's. A lot of firefighters and well, that's just firemen, it's a right? But I was like, are we remembering first responders? Oh, uh, maybe, remember? maybe no, the, the, it's, it's only a war. I think it's Army military or uh, okay. yeah, military. It's just military people who have died in service. Okay, because in church war. we make people stand up that are serving, but they're not dead. That's, that's Veterans Day. Veterans Day. Uh, not supposed to do that uh, on Memorial Day. Yeah, I didn't know that until just a couple a of days ago. Not days ago, years ago. There you go. Um, Make sure you get his shot right. Well, yeah. So happy Memorial Day to everybody. Uh, I'm still back and forth. Uh, you know what I like? I've figured it out. What do you New like? New Smyrna Beach. Oh, yes. Dang. That is like. New Smyrna. You know what I like? How did we never go to Winter New Smyrna? Winter freaking park. Winter park's great, but how did oh we gosh. never go to New Smyrna Beach all that time in Florida? Don't tell people about it. We'd never been there. It's for the locals only. Which we're not, but he's bored. No, I'm drawing, a, I'm drawing Jewish a, stars. a Jewish star. <laughs> Why? Why? For just Israel. Came to my mind. <laughs> oh. No, I just no, I just was drawing it. I like the doodle. Are you? Uh, he's sleepy, <laughs> dude. This is a sleepy time. No, well, I'm with you. I'm engaged. We are. are you? I yep. mean, we're this is big new Smyrna guy. Yes, yeah, so we're we're <laughs> we're three thirty Nashville time. Whew. We've all had days today. Whew. I had uh, a. Two meetings this morning. I'm sure you had meetings. Jennifer, you had... What did I have? You didn't have a lot of meetings today yet. <laughs> no, um, I didn't have a lot of meetings. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's why you got more energy than uh, us. Well, maybe. Yeah. I was up very late, though. And you've had a couple coffees. And what's this? That's tea. What kind? Is it like green a green variety. tea? Okay. Yes. Oh, I'm drinking one of Hutch's. Hutch came in the other day. <sighs> that carrying boy. a 24-pack of seltzer water. Spindrift. Walks in the front oh. door. We he usually walks in the front door immediately goes upstairs. He walked in, came into the kitchen with his seltzer of, water, put it in, and goes in the fridge. Can this be mine? I paid for it. Oh. We're like, oh, we're doing that now. Yeah, we're doing. So then the can other this night, be mine? I bought hold the cones from Trader Joe's. You know those little ice cream cones. Okay. He finished. He polished off a whole box of them. <laughs> and he goes, "Hey, it's the last one." And I was like, "Oh, okay. So those will be yours too." <laughs> He goes, oh yeah, yeah. Emery does that. She'll she'll like, and even Bentley. Bentley now because she can get up to Walgreens. We oh let her go to Walgreens. Gosh, she walks. That's true. Yeah, she you rides guys her bike. So close. Her, oh, fun. Yeah, exactly. So she'll come back with stuff and put her name on. <laughs> but she'll target Emery. She'll be like, Emery, do not drink my because <laughs> she knows oh. Emery's the culprit always. That's awesome. Do you know if somebody did that, I would. Immediately drink it. 100%. If someone put my name on something 100%. and said, Jeremy, oh. goner. stay out. Oh. See, and you I accuse me of that. I would not. But I that, would be would, like, I But that's your not. thing. If someone tells you not, you have to do it. But that's he your says thing. I'm like that, but I'm not like that as much as he is. Really? No. I would never. If someone said, this is my, not yours, I would be like, okay. That's more of a learned Look, behavior in college. We when were, you get to college, that's, that's a saying. big deal. If like, we were you living in an apartment, with. if you and I were living in an apartment and you got something, you put Drew on it, be like, yeah, he paid for it, that's his. Yeah. But when your 20-year-old comes in who oh, no. pays for zero 
<laughs> and said, food. He wise, pays for his own stuff. Well, when he's out, he pays for stuff, and he asks us for very little. And he says, "Can <laughs> these be mine?" <laughs> I hope he's listening right now, and I hope he hears that I'm drinking his Spindrift. He will never be listening to this. <laughs> oh, are you actually right now drinking the thing he said not to drink? Currently, I, I put this in my, my Wawa cup, but currently I'm drinking the thing he, <laughs> he told me because I needed the bubbles. That has to, is there more? I'd like to have one. Those look really good. You yeah. want one? You yeah. want me to go get you one? You, no, me, that's okay. you guys can keep yeah, I don't going. trust I'll... you with the stairs. That's true. With you these need glasses to stay put. On. You want me to go get him one and you guys have to talk? I want one too. Can you get us one? <laughs> oh, this is awesome. Wee hoo! Party on Hutch. We should talk about Jeremy while he's gone. What? What? Uh, he- what? He's such an attention whore. What headspace has he been in recently, Jeremy? I don't know. With I his travel? Know. Um, He's lonely. Is he really? Mm hmm. Even though he's around a bunch of people down there. Yeah, but he likes to be around me. Oh. Uh, so he's well, lonely for me. you. He's a, he's lonely for his peeps. His family. Even if we don't talk. Like, really? Even if we're... He just likes us all to be in the same house. Yeah. You well, he's, he said... I he, get that. I always think I'm the one that likes to be alone. But give me about 24 hours of that, and I'm like, okay. Mm-hmm. I'm bored. I've been very bored. But it is, it is your people, though. Like, I'm good at being alone, but... But it's it's the family, it's the people. I'm I've hit that age too. Thank this you. is great. Thank you, Hutch. Oh, Thanks, thank Hutch, you, yeah. for purchasing our beverages. She you said know, she said um, you were lonely when you were gone. I really was. Yeah. I mean, I'm. I mean, I I like my. I do like to be alone, but I like the I like the proximity of my pack. I know? really noticed how much I don't like to be alone lately. You did tell me you missed me. I have missed you really bad. It's Aww, weird. Oh, guys. That's that, awesome. That's new, though. Because she usually, she usually really does like some space. Well, but you got to remember, too, that we have always, always worked together. Yeah. And so I've never had space in We're my not life. together nearly as much as we used to be. No. And oh, that's why you wanted it. You wanted to draw on it. I didn't think about that, but now that you have it, it's not working. No, I literally it looked refreshing. So you I like to one. draw on things. You've I done do. that I in like several do. podcasts. That star of David's pretty controversial right now. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I didn't even realize I was making that. <laughs> but now a, I'm enclosing it. So it, now what's it going to be? A pentagram. There we go. No, that would be we five have a, points. We have a friend that he went and got a tattoo when he was young. It's our friend's son, and he came to the house, and <laughs> I was like, I was like, Zach, are you? Do you have a pentagram on your arm? <laughs> He's like, yeah, it was supposed to be a Star of David, but it got, I messed it up. <laughs> he got a pentagram. <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> Man, that's so great. That's so, do you know how many people, though? Tattoos are so hot right now. They are. If really? You be, More than ever? Do you I think they were always that? hot. No. When we were kids. Oh, yeah. You no one tattoo. had tattoos. Yeah. But you know that comes and goes, right? I mean, so I have a feeling... That's what we all need to go into is tattoo removal. Well, you know, when we were kids, we do yeah. have to remember when we were kids, he's coming up a decade after mm. us. So they weren't as taboo for him. No, they were taboo when we were kids. I mean, like yeah. you, the only people that had tattoos were prisoners. Yeah. You know, or people in the, in the my Navy. My dad was very, a very conservative growing up. He's not anymore, but he was growing up. Like my dad would had to entertain getting a tattoo. Really, which is like a huge deal because he right. was a no alcohol, no. Because he grew up in a highly conservative. He couldn't even go to the movies. Oh like, wow! It, my grandfather, he asked one time to go to the movies. I think it was like Bambi or something playing. Oh my gosh! And my grandfather was like, "You can go, but if you if you go, I'll have to quit the ministry." He was a pastor. Oh my gosh! <laughs> it's all shame. And Dad was like, "Well, I'm not going to go, Dad. I if guess you're going to, I don't want to be responsible for that." <laughs> Jeez, you know. Uh, and I'm not saying this is your story, but I have a couple of clients, one that I'm really close to, that uh, same story. When when she was growing up, parents were hardcore. Actually, two of them. Parents were really conservative, and this is just what they did. And then in her adulthood, like almost like sort of after she moved out, the parents started to really like loosen up. And it's really hard for her because she's like, where was that? When I, I was like a that's, kid, a lot of people are going through that now. So the yeah. parents are now doing the things that they said were like downright sinful. Yeah, and she's like, "What the heck is this all about?" I feel like alcohol. Us growing up, alcohol was very taboo. Well, not for me. Well, that's true. Never mind. You don't aren't included. <laughs> but for me, and for I mean, but your aunt Cindy didn't drink at all. True, but she was she was the she's outlier. She was the out. Because but Verna I'm saying, drank, mom. I mean, we had a working tap, a working bar. I know that your parents did, 
But right. even your some of your family didn't true, drink at all. True, true. And now they all drink. Yeah. And just like my family, I mean, it was very much. I'm the only one in my family now that doesn't drink. My parents I don't drink. We, your parents drink now. Yeah. How weird is that? So is it? It's not hard for you though. Like you're okay. No, I no, I'm totally fine. I was not. It's actually been really cool because my parents have, in the last even few months, have been like going through like a reawakening spiritually. That's cool. It's very cool, and they just they've been in like the. American conservative church system yeah. their whole life and they're getting the retirement age and they're like, Hey, well, looking back on it, it just hadn't served us. Yeah. That yeah. brand hasn't served us very well. Yeah. And they're exploring like, I, I will, I'll say like the central things they're, they're not wavering sure. on, but like there's things that my dad will have conversations and he'll be like, man, I wish I would, would have known this years ago in ministry, just how to like pass for people and yeah. show up for people. And you are know. you also like, I wish you would have known it. No, I'm out of that. I went through resentment phase. Did you? But not anymore. I'm just really grateful that they're in the, at their age. What they're modeling, you know, freedom. Yeah, and evolving and learning. And my dad's in his yeah. seven mid seventies, and he's learning new things about what it means to follow the way of Jesus. Yeah. It's That's awesome. Cool. Yeah. Like, I think I think the the two clients that I'm talking about they they're both girls, well, grown women, and the stuff that their parents are doing are things that they would have been kicked out for doing. Right. And so they're That's like That's tough. Yeah, it is. And they want they want to enjoy the parents the way it is, but little them is like what the heck? Like yeah. this invalidates this whole structure that you made, like church on Sundays, Wednesdays, oh. you know. And they're like what what was that then? And and I think it would be Maybe different if the parents tried to do some amends and be like, "Hey, we are so sorry." <clears throat> yeah. You know what I mean? Like, we were, but they're just like, "But well, moved on." <laughs> it's almost it's like all okay now. It's almost like, like it's the same. I don't want to say symptoms, but I hear the same language from adults whose parents stay together, and then they get divorced when the. Uh, it's like, well, what was grown. that all about? Like, yeah. um, you know, and they're just like, "We moved on." You know, we're happy now. We're like, wait a minute, you know. What about my? I could see that. I see that. I see that standpoint. Dude. I think because we, my brother, when I say we, my brothers and I, kind of already blew up the church thing. We mm-hmm. were already past that, so we were kind of mom and dad were late to the party. We just were happy they they showed up to the party at all. Yeah, of like, hey, this didn't work real well for the Powell family. Like, let's look around at the yeah. three boys. We all in our twenties, thirties, and forties. You know, it wasn't a great showing yeah. from the pal kids. So I think mom and dad kind of were forced to evaluate and be like, hey, right. what didn't, what this didn't really work for us. Yeah. Like, right. we got a lot of, you know, scar tissue and baggage and there's a lot of damage, like just a lot of stuff. And so I think it forced them to look at it when we did as kids. And yeah. and they never, they never um, like left their faith or anything. It wasn't yeah. like they... But they just were thought, hey, there's got to be a better way to, of living this out yeah. than what we thought. So, right. I, I like Pretty the cool. move because, like, I don't want to be part of a whatever we call it Christianity belief system that's defined by what we're against. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, like we're watching all this stuff with Hamas. Well, Hamas's main goal in life is to exterminate Jews. Like, they are defined by against, and I hate. I don't like. I don't want to be part of something that's defined by what we don't do. I want to be defined by what we do do. Do do. I love that you just said do do. Do do. We're like we definitely can't let that slide. Yeah, we're yeah. defined by what we do do. <laughs> I'm still just a middle school boy at heart. <laughs> well, uh, you actually are. <laughs> you definitely are more, more than the rest of us. Yeah, yeah. I'm the, the only joke man on the here. Tour bus was that she's the only man here. <laughs> Well, I mean, the cool thing about for like for my parents, they were always very loving, grace filled people. I think because we were in leadership, church leadership, and you know, my dad's parents were my my mom's side of everybody's in church leadership. I think what they've come around to is just the um, the works based stuff, the striving stuff. Like, hey, if I check all, if I check these boxes, then God will give me peace yeah. and give me blessing and give yeah. me all this kind of stuff. Yeah. And it was very like, 
self-denial, but, you know, the surface level version of self-denial, which means, you know, basically not think about, not care for yourself. Yeah. Right. And so, um, so I think they're coming back around to more of a, Hey, like this, this systemic, like people in leadership who can't actually show up and be honest. Yeah. Like we have a lot of, we have a lot of skeletons in the Powell closet and, um, that we weren't allowed to talk about it. Yeah. You know, in in hindsight, we're like, man, that's why we yeah. should have, that should have been the place we could talk about it. Bring those skeletons out. Yeah, yeah, man. So I just picture like a closet full of those biology classroom. Is that what you mm-hmm. picture? That's when I think of, I, Do you know what the, I think of? When everyone says, anyone says skeletons in the closet, I think of opening a closet door and just seeing, seeing those a, things on stands. Yep. Yes, a <laughs> line of actual, like just bone, I did too. bones banging But you're a bone picture? collector, so you probably That's think true. something No, different. you know what I picture? You know how like if you see a glow-in-the-dark person in a suit yeah. with you, just the bones show up, it's like a cartoon? Yeah. That's what Talking I picture. Talking like blacklight performance kind of? Yeah, but it's, but it's like a happy skull yeah. face. That's what I picture. Did you see the rat skeleton in our living room when you are down there? <laughs> I don't know if it's a rat. rat I think skull. it's a squirrel. Squirrel skull. No, I sure didn't. No, oh I'll definitely gosh. be showing you that you later. You found it recently? No, my dad had it. My dad had it in his pile of junk in his barn, and I took it. Well, she went to Mon- Montana for a week with a... You told him this. Did I, t- did I tell you this? Yes. And she came home with a bag oh, yeah. of bones. Yeah. Bag of bones. That's my wife. That's not necessarily normal behavior. Yeah, I don't. This I mean, normal tracks. behavior does not apply to Jennifer, and I like it because it's fun and funny and keep you know it's yeah, fun. it's quirky it, for sure. Is yeah. it quirky? Yeah, I mean, just the bones are quirky. Even though I would like to kind of be in taxidermy, that's sort of weird. Bag of bones is quirky at best. That's a good band name. It's kind of creepy. Bag of bones. Bag of bones. Bag of bones. Yeah. Um, so uh, uh, the skeletons in the closet. That's thing. the kind of music it would be. What? Bag of bones. Is it bluegrass? Yeah, probably. That's a great bluegrass band name, Bag of Bones. I uh, felt like Bag of Bones was like more heavy metal, but it could whatever. be blues too. Oh, I see, heavy metal. Mm-hmm. I feel like just like real like death rock. Okay. One of my meetings this morning was about leadership, and uh, I was telling the guy because we we're talking segue. About, well, we were talking. Weren't we talking about leadership just now? Your parents and oh, leadership. Yeah, kind and of. All oh yeah. That. And leadership, you know, uh, our friend Kirk Thompson, he. You know, it was one of those nuggets kind of thing. He didn't even, wasn't making a big deal out of it. He was doing a talk one time, and he said, you know, true leadership is actually about the people. It's putting everybody around you in a place to be their best self. And it was like light bulb for me. I was like, oh, my gosh. Every time I've ever heard of leadership, I've thought about like a a guy with a flag going, here we go. I'm the leader. You know, which way are we going? You can't lead people, blah, blah, blah. And he was like, when he said that, I was like, Oh my gosh, that's so true. The best thing you can do is put people in a place to do a great job. Same thing happened with the person I was with this morning. I said that I, you know, I didn't take credit for it, and he's like, oh, "I got to write that down." Like, yeah, these little like nuggets of yeah, like, leadership truth. is it's so overrated. I think yeah. It will in America. We just like especially in the church world I come from. It's just so glamorized, like. Leaders, I mean, I'm just, I've had it. I've had enough of leadership yeah. stuff. you think it's partly because people like, want fame? It's ego. It's, it's control ego. Yeah, it's ego. all that stuff. It's and leadership it's like, is what it is. Hey, oh. It's leadership. Oh. Got him. Isn't it, though? Like Getting canceled. I was actually, so then I'm kind of ruminating on this on the way home, and I was thinking about that. What's the, is it proverb where you train up the child in the way she, they would go, and, mm-hmm. and which is a formula that they, it doesn't work, you know? But I was thinking. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! It doesn't always work. Well, it doesn't well, it work. It doesn't work to treat it like a formula. It doesn't work if you're going train up a child in the way. If I keep them in church, right. and buckle them down. I feel well, there's like a lot like, of discrepancy around the way they should go. Yeah. Right. What yeah. is the way they should go? And like, I go, how do you know right. doing it? Yeah. I go, okay. If you if you know them, and you put them in a place like I was actually thinking, okay, does this apply? If you put a child or a kid in a place where they succeed, they will have that for the rest of their life. Like they'll, but if you try to train them up in the way you think they should go, <laughs> like once they're old, they'll like our son, Hutch, he's super coordinated. He's a great skater, great surfer, but he doesn't like competitive sports. If we would have trained him up in competitive sports, as soon as we would have, st- he, so he would have just let it go. He'd have been like, 
I don't care about this. Like he would have departed from it. But if you, you know what I mean? Does that yeah. make sense? Yeah, but it's such a shame. It's such a waste. Well, he, wha- he's, he could be such an amazing athlete. But what if we, what if we tried to train Sadie <laughs> he's in the video. Sorry, what if ahead. we tried to train Sadie up in algebra? And we were just like, we're, like, Who would we're, do that? we're, I, I mean, we're a family of accountants. What if and, we would have done what I wanted? Which is what? Gotten them all riding horses. Why are we whispering? Because she's in the other room. I don't want her to think I'm disappointed. Do you her. think she's listening to this? Mm, From the yeah. eavesdropping? There's no way she's listening. She's got her head. Hutch is she's not, got is my Hutch headphones here? on. No. He's not here right now. Okay. Um, Oof, he's going to be pissed when he walks in and sees us yes, drinking his spin drifts. It'll be awesome. I know. I'm kind of hoping he busts us. I hope he does too. Um, but you know what I mean? Like if we would... If we should we, take a selfie of all three of us holding one. Yeah. <laughs> I'll joke. Venmo him. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a 50 cents. Venmo him like 50 cents. Yeah, I will. Yeah. I'll do some random number. I will too. We'll all Venmo him. Okay. Um, but anyway, isn't that like... You all can Venmo him. We too. should get all of our... We should give out his Venmo and we get should. everybody who listens to this to Venmo him like, like 49 cents. cents. Yeah. 40. <laughs> and he'll be like, what the crap? <laughs> what is all this? <laughs> we should. No. We'll put that in the show notes. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Can I give out my Venmo? I don't yeah. know. I wish you would actually. I give. I mean, put that in the show notes. Your yep. Venmo. I'm wearing my dad's used clothes. I need to go shopping. That's. Oh my gosh. Wow. So <laughs> we don't ever put anything in the show notes. There so aren't good any luck show finding notes. it. What are? I show will. Notes? I'll remember this time. Oh, okay. For sure. Sure. Well, that's okay. Absolutely false. You're not going to remember. Hundred percent will not remember. <laughs> <laughs> I'll forget before this conversation is over. You know what? what? You're wearing the same thing you wore last week. Yep. So I don't even attempt. That's how you roll. This is your black. On I was black. thinking I'm the worst producer of all time because I show up with a memory card. That's what you bring, and I put it in the thing. Yep. I don't think about the show. <laughs> Half the time I leave stuff in the show that we do it should be edited house. out. We do it at your house on all your equipment. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he stopped introducing me as producer. Now I'm just friend. That's true. It makes more sense. Yeah. But you do do the whatever do you do? You do the computer whatever you do with that. I don't know. Yeah. I, I click a few buttons there. Yeah. Man. It's love Jennifer offering. and computer. You're not earning the big check that you're getting. No. What's I do funny? get uh, what, six eggs? Eight eggs every time I come over? 12 is it 12 eggs yeah i mean do you bring two little cartons yeah are they six each 12. i get 12 eggs when i, I come mean over. do you think you get four in, or six and one and two and another i thought it was four and four. Oh no it's six and six you know what's funny is people think we make money on this i've had a couple people say but you make money doing that like, we don't make money it costs on money the podcast people think we no, make that, money doing yes. the podcast oh i thought you were talking about the eggs no people think we make money doing this podcast i'm like no this is just a big waste of time <laughs> <laughs> making any money it's costing money well i get clients contact me okay but so that's it that's it what if you guys learned that i was like quietly monetizing it (laughs) (laughs) you'd be like this bastard (laughs) i was like uh yeah it's not making any money and i'm like got some kind of side thing for real with all the so many followers so many (laughs) listeners we have that's my business model talking people into doing a podcast (laughs) and then like quietly making side money they're like this doesn't make anything i'm like yeah yeah, there's shirts out there with gospel according to jeremy on them (laughs) you stumble across one like down you're like wait where do you get that drew powell enterprises actually (laughs) or ignite you gotta read the you gotta read the uh fine print amplify amplify (laughs) ignite Ignite. that was a youth group name Amplify, man, that sounds like a youth group name, though. Are you going to Amplify tonight? Remember, it does. Some of them are so dumb. Some youth of those names? names that they come up with. Like, and remember, Inversion was such a weird one for the uh, singles group at yeah, Fellowship. Yeah, it's probably still happening. No, it's not. It's not. Okay, good. No, that was uh, a weird name, Inversion. Inversion. Yeah, I I never understood it. Yeah, Christians stupid are, names. Christians, we are so weird with our branding. Somebody, oh. Uh, somebody was telling me the name of the church they go to in Nashville is Zeal. Zeal, yeah. yeah. That sounds no, like that's a, a thing. Zeal like church. an alcoholic church drink. It sounds like doesn't Ze- it like Zima? Yeah, like I feel like uh, get me another Zeal. Doesn't it sound like a drink? A little, like a canned alcoholic drink. It's better than the Gate. Yeah, the Gate. We got one down here called the Gate, which evidently is a great church, but but it yeah. sounds like oh, we got friends freaking, that go there. We it did. sounds like a cult. It does the sound gate. cultish, but. I used to watch this show called The Path on yeah. HBO. Yeah. And it was... It sounds like that. It was very culty, and that's what it reminds yeah, me Yeah, churches and names. Yeah, what is that all about? Not a good look. 
I don't know. Do we have a topic for this week? You know, here I was reading, one of my clients was reading Pagan Christianity. It came out like, I don't know, I think we talked about this, but they talk about like churches weren't, that it was hundreds of years before anyone ever had a church building. It was just people. Imagine uh, that. Imagine that. Just people hanging out. Well, that's what Francis Chan wanted know. to do. Remember? I wonder if I wonder if there was no building and stuff if we would do it. Like personally. If we would go. I bet we would. I wonder. I mean, I don't know. Well, where would we go? Like if we were back then, if we lived back then and it was just people. And we had to deal with people. Do you think we'd go? Well, I mean, Christian Christianity was a sect of Judaism, so they went to the temple. Well, you it, just you flipping just right. No, said, no, that was early, early. Remember, because Peter's like, remember, like Peter's like, what lived, should we do? And Jesus is like, we'll go to the temple and worship. If we would have lived when there was nothing but people, would we have gone? Well, have you guys been to the Holy Land before? Surely you have. No, no. Okay, have you? Yeah, this is great. It's great. It's amazing. Everyone should go because well, you better get on it because <laughs> they're about to <laughs> blow it up because they're yeah about that's to true river to the sea it well <laughs> <laughs> i made that into a verb river to the sea <laughs> it's a verb now everything's a verb to jennifer <laughs> let's river to the sea this thing well i will say it it does it's a perspective shift because we we put it through the filter of our lives here and it's nothing like this mm-hmm. like it's so tight quarter like that's the right. thing. Like cars ruin church. Yeah. Because now you drive to the church you, you were you of your preference. Yeah. Yeah. You don't have a choice of where you went to church then, or it wasn't even a place you go. You just were, you're living like, it had been like, hey, Jeremy, like you, you're you're living right there, yeah. like where Jesus would walk to the temple, especially around the Galilee area. It's like. They were, they were just small little it's communities, just so tight. and then it's like, oh, over there is where the beatitudes happen, and then over there is where like. You know, when you're in the Garden of Gethsemane, you see the gate that they were coming through out of Jerusalem to come get Jesus. Like, Jesus would have saw the whole thing happen. Like, it's right there. Like, Isn't that wild? And we picture, like, oh, they're coming to get him and he's in this garden. It's like, no, it's all, like, in the, it, how it's How big visible. would you say the garden would have been? Um, like an like acre? An olive grove like or a, Yeah, maybe half an acre, I'm thinking. Half an acre. It was wow, very, like, I you picture, could walk like, around a football thing. field. No, no, Isn't no, that no, funny? No, 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 no. It was small, and you could because there was like a valley between that and the gate that they were coming out of. You could stand where Jesus would have been with his disciples, and you would look and be like, "Well, there they're coming. I can see them. They just came out of the gate. Now they're coming down." Like it was just all right there. You know, it's like it's wild. Yeah, you could walk from like where where David, the house of David was, and where all that went down, and where like the trial was happening with like Peter. All these. It's all walkable. It's all like, so like in our minds, we're picturing, oh, well, that had been over here and over there. It's like, so like the whole, the way we do church and community is yeah. so different because our community is now based on, do I vibe with these people? Are they cool? Right. Are they my people? Like we wouldn't have had that option. It would have been whoever's living here and there and over there and there. And, and then you would that's, have just dealt with it. You right. did, They were like family. It was kind of like, really, you didn't have a choice. No. If you didn't like them. And then the church was so You'd disruptive like because they had just like a, this total different way of living. Mm. It was like basically socialist. I mean, it was right. like, let's just put everything in a pot and yeah. take care of one another. And everyone was like, hey, I want in on that. That, sound, that looks awesome. looks like it's working for you guys. And yeah, there's a really interesting book, and I'm not going to be able to remember the title of it, but a buddy of mine gave, gave it to me. I started reading it, and it was basically unpacking a lot of the writings from that time that wasn't just scripture. It was like, oh, right. and the government of the day was begging the Christians. To stop. Like it was almost like there was writings that was like, Hey, we don't want to have to do this, but you're so outside of the box hmm. that we're going to have to like crack down on you on like from wow. a government standpoint. And they're just like, no, this is the way that we feel like we're meant to live, you know? But like, I don't even know how to get persecuted in Franklin. Oh my gosh. How would I go? Like, when you talk about being a follower of Christ, you'll suffer persecution. Like, how do I? I mean, it would be the opposite. How would you right? get? How would Franklin, you get persecuted a, for a your faith? A contractor with the Jesus fish in Franklin would get more work. Yeah, because of the Jesus fish. For now, I mean, I think it's. Well, we we make our Christians famous in Franklin. Don't you feel like though? About twenty years ago, it was more so. I don't know. I do. Not here. Maybe. I don't know about here. I don't know. I think you just made more money at it. I mean, I think there are places in our country where that's not true. 
You wouldn't want a Jesus fish if you live in the Bay Area. Well, maybe that's true always, though. Right. I'm just saying there are pockets where it's like, ooh, no. I don't know that you get persecuted, but you just wouldn't advertise it. Mm -hmm. I feel like Jesus fish has always been a good thing. Mm, I don't think in certain parts of the country. Elaine, somebody stole Elaine's Jesus fish. No, (laughs) no, no, no. It wasn't it wasn't hers. It was Putty's Jesus fish. Oh, she told her. Didn't somebody stole my Jesus fish? Yeah, <laughs> I don't. I don't remember. Oh, Seinfeld. Seinfeld. I never. Yeah. I've never got into that show. Yeah, George liked Christian music. No, no, no. Yes, putty. he said. Putty. George said, "I like Christian. I like Christian rock." No, it was Putty. It was Elaine's boyfriend, Putty. I know, but there's George a whole didn't other like episode Christian about Rock. I got. It. We're gonna have to find it because I think you're wrong. No, well, I've been wrong before. Tw- uh, twice, I think. Yeah. You know these in this these episode. ancillary <laughs> writings like. Uh, you know, I know this is going to sound heretical to people, but it really is interesting to read these other writings that talk about the same people in the Bible. I was reading, I was digging into Nicodemus, you know, the guy that came to Jesus at night. Yeah. He was there at the end. He helped with Jesus's body. Like he, yeah. he got it eventually. He's the whole one that said, you got to be born again. And he eventually changed his whole mind. And I love that stuff. Yeah. That's like so cool. Here, this is a little off topic, but do you guys watch The Chosen? No, I have not. We, we want to. Want to? Should we? Is it good? Don't like it? I can't. My my, my wife Jamie will watch it and just cry. This it's so beautiful for her. I, I I when we talked about period pieces, I think that's what it, I just I can't. Oh, you guys are dumb. I can't get in. I just can't. I've tried, and it's probably fine. But Jamie, it's moving for her. I, there are a lot very of moving like that. for her. I'm watching, this is way off the yeah. topic. I'm watching Palm Royale. Yeah. Well, I watched it. Is that it moving for you? It is. It actually kind of is because the set design is unreal. I mean, it's really, it's good anyway, but the set design is so beautiful and mm. so well done. Anyway. But it's period piece. It's 60s, and he hates it. I don't mind the 60s. That's Oh, not, you'd watch that? I mean, they have electricity and stuff. I mean, there's a I lot of like gay pioneer, stuff in it. I don't but... like pioneer stuff. Oh, man. I don't like how we're romanticizing the pioneer period, because I don't think any of us would make it a Yeah, day. but if you watch if you watch 1883, <laughs> the Yellowstone one, they do not rom- romanticize it. It is horrible. Well, yeah. That's I mean, good, maybe. It's so good. I just, I can't get into it. And I, I think there's a part of me, the contrarian me, like when it comes to Chosen, like I don't really want someone to like interpret it for, like give I me an interpretation saying. of it's how it literal. went. Maybe. And I, again, I, I'm, like, I, need to I probably should have watched it before I make judgments on it because it's only, I've only seen it like the first like few minutes and then I fall asleep, you uh, know. Well, there, are, it's getting a bad, people are saying it's heretical now too. Really? Of course. They, everything that gets popular. Yeah. gets heretical. Christians find a way to be against They do. Everything. It's so frustrating. But for Jamie, man, she it really has brought some of these stories to life for her. She loves it. Our it's pastor cool. in California, he was that way. I mean, he and his wife yeah, loved it. They'd actually, it. They actually did watch parties at the church. Yeah. They Speaking of it. Christian movies, have you guys seen Unsung Hero yet? Mm-mm. I don't even know what it's about. Small Bone Family. Did you like it? Oh, yeah. I, I have a hard time seeing these Christian music ones. Really? Yeah, I feel like I'm going to get hit <laughs> from just <laughs> the world. <laughs> like, should I say that? Like, I have a hard time with it. I didn't see it. I have not seen any of I didn't see the Mercy Me one. I didn't see any of them. Jesus yeah. music you might like. Well, that's different. It's like I'm a documentary. Talking these so much mo- I'm, seeing the, I'm talking the movies. The Jesus music thing is funny because they show these pictures of like all these people sitting down to talk to him, but they don't play the... Oh, they don't play their interview? No. Oh, weird. Like there's moments where they'll show like people sitting down and you're like, well, it didn't show up. Like, almost like yeah. they meant it for it to be like a yeah. eight like part a... series, uh... but they didn't get around to making yeah. an edit on it or something. Did you see Unsung Heroes? I did. We took the whole family to see it. Oh, wow. So. You didn't mess around. It is about Small Bone Family. Yeah. It's about Small Bone Family. They're yeah. like, they're it's coming to America. Candace Cameron. Huh? Candace Cameron made it. Really? She produced She's it. Strong. She's in it. I heard some of the King and Country they're going back and doing like duets with Amy and Michael, and they sound great. They do. They oh, do. I mean, Place in the world. Place in this yes, world is it great. Sounds amazing. And then they do Saved by Love, I think, or Lead Me On. Man, they do okay, Lead Me On. We talked in the last thing about Amy. That is the best Amy Grant record. Yeah, Lead, lead me, me On is the best. Yeah, it's great. It's so it was good. cool because and a lot that, of Amy Grant content. Yeah. Well, we talked. 
I mean. We should have her on. <sighs> oh. Don't even joke. That would be so great. She would probably do it. That's the crazy part. Oh my gosh, part. I love her so much. Yeah. All right, I'll, I'll figure When I out. saw the Lead Me On tour, which I saw all of her, most of her tours, but oh my gosh, it was so well done. Your birthday's June 14th. Let's, can we figure out a <laughs> For way? For her birthday? Yeah. I, I don't know that I, I would just sit here and stare at her. Do you, can we figure out a way to get Amy on for Jennifer's birthday? I mean, Work Amy Grant it. has been mentioned at our house probably more than any other artist ever. She, we both love her, but Jennifer. Oh, well, she's the reason I want to be a singer. Yeah. I mean. You know how many people probably say that. Oh, right? absolutely. I feel like she single-handedly gave us our industry. Oh, totally. We, oh, all wow. of us owe it to Amy Grant. Absolutely. She's great. Michael, too, but we owe it to Amy Grant. Well, Amy, I mean. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of other people, too. Correct. But she made it pretty mainstream. Yeah. And we all, I mean, she we, took some shrapnel for it too, didn't she? Oh, she did. Yeah. Yeah. Big time. Shrapnel. That's a good word. Yeah. It have just came to the, me. Have you seen the app you can get where it, you basically, <laughs> you, it, it's like a vocabulary expander. It's supposed to be really good for yes. you. Yes. And it gives you different I words. I want to do it, but say. it costs money. Wow. Two bucks? I don't know. Your but the drink that you're drinking is probably four bucks. That one was free. Your that was Hutch. Hutch, Hutch bought one that cost one. Me fifty cents. I that bought one, her other one. That one cost you twenty this one, years. Well, of... I'm out of this. One. I need to get more tea. Yeah. Don't let me forget. That is a. You're going to wet the bed with all of this. I know. Liquid. For one thing, and another thing. For one thing, and and another thing. Well, let her finish. I'm not going to be able to sleep you've now. Never, let me finish. You've never wet the bed. Ever? Have I? I'm sure I did. When I was you only have accidents when you're awake. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> You think put her asleep, she's, she's not going to pee ever. I peed my pants one time at school when I was still oh. going to school. It was horrible. Yeah, I got a... to laughing too hard. <laughs> you peed your pants when you were a kid. Yeah. yeah. At school. At school From time. laughing. Oh, man. He must have really got going. Man, that's the only times I've ever peed my pants is when I'm laughing, laughing really hard. Man, I could make my mom all pee her pants. I would I would hug her and pick her up, and it was just like... And spin her around. like squeezing a sponge. She was like, she's like, I'm to pee my pants. Oh, Jeremy, you made me pee my pants. <laughs> she sounded like she smoked So it wasn't for, like from laughter. It was literally a... Well, she it was uh, She uh, was laughing, but... It yeah. was funny, but she, she peed her pants quite a bit. Um, what is that saying? Oh, it's tracking. I, I never... So she can... She, this and this actually gives me panic to think about. She can go to bed having to pee. Oh, you just hold it through the night. I mean, yeah. She's like you're just like, I don't want to get up. Well, I mean, if it were strong, I'd have to get up. Yeah. My mom calls it a pee shelf. Remember, she used to tell us, "Yeah, I have pee on the shelf and it's rolling off." I forget how she explains. And she it. lays down and then it, and then she has to pee. Yeah. So. Oh yeah, it's sitting on the shelf and then when you lay down, it rolls and you have to pee. I've had that conversation in my head before though like do i want to get up versus can i it? make it no. but then i'm like but then if, what if it's three in the morning and then i gotta get, that's worse so and then after you've gone through all that you're like just get the f up it's yeah. the last thing i have to do before i get in bed no if i pee and get in bed and then i realize oh i need to get my chapstick i, I gotta get my, and then pee and then get in bed i okay. mean it's like you're always gonna pee before you get in bed always it's like a triangle no matter what i last night i was like hey are you going to, what did I ask you? Are you going to put your machine on because you hear your CPAP? <laughs> I'm going to get up and pee. I'll do it in a minute. I did though. I got up and peed. After about two hours. I don't know. <laughs> two hours later, I was like, you need to put your machine on. I got up and peed. You finally got up and peed. That's how he sounds? Yes. I hate my CPAP. Really? I hate it. Hate wearing it? I do. I mean, And I probably sleep better. And I, I still do wear it, but I hate hate it what do you hate about it because i'm getting ready to get one well it's the tube the i mean it's just <laughs> the, the circle whole, the whole thing it's just like I how like, do you f turn over with one you can do that like okay it's just a long tube yeah i mean I, I like a spaceman well you do got to turn over towards it <gasps> which reminds me sorry what i said spaceman keep going What about spaceman <gasps> did you guys watch the joe rogan no oh. are we doing this Sorry, we don't have to. I just that you ask me what, and I'm answering you. Well, now you got to talk about it. The guy talking about going to the moon. That's all. How we didn't? Yeah, it's a conspiracy. Uh, it's kind of a conspiracy the other way. We actually did go. That's more of a conspiracy. That if we you, did go. If you'd hear the yeah, if you'd hear this, I thought that's what the whole deal is. The conspiracy is we didn't actually go. Well, that's what I'm saying. There's so much evidence that we didn't go. Yeah. That the conspiracy is actually that we did go because oh. we couldn't have gone. 
There like are, it's impossible. There are also <laughs> legit recordings of them filming what should be. And so what, what the astronaut says, we had to recreate these. Like we had to. What Which they're coming out like. with a movie about that. Did you hear about this? It's, no. It's Channing Tatum and, and uh, Scarlett Johansson. So these astronauts just were in on it the whole time and they That's just That's what they're it? saying. And he shows videos of them like really struggling and kind of wanting to tell the truth. And you can tell that they're lying. And I mean, if you'd see it, you just need to watch it. Is Are it you Joe saying though that, okay, if it's, if it's by percentages mm. and you leaning we didn't or you leaning we did? I always said, I think it's very odd that they say we can't go now because of the technology, but we had the technology then. That always felt off. Right? Yeah. Like, there's no way our technology. There's no way he thought about this. I've thought about it more right now than I have my entire life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm, I mean, I'm blown like, away I'm by in. this right now. <laughs> <laughs> I've never thought about it before in my life. I just found out just now we went and then didn't go. <laughs> we went to Imagine the, the roller coaster I'm on right now. Wait, did we go or not? <laughs> Wait a minute. Moon? What's the moon? I never knew it was even up for debate. Yeah. Oh, you did? Really? No, I did. I, I knew there was some controversy around it, but. Well, the, that whole radiation belt thing. Yeah, but that's the first time I heard of that. Because you haven't studied it. You Sorry, have? I didn't mean to yell at it. I'm just that's saying, right. well, that guy has. A lot. I have almost no anxiety about things that are happen that have happened in the world or around the world or what. All my anxiety is very close to home. You're just anxious about your kids and your yeah. marriage. Like I have my friend. Whether you're going to fart in my front of your wife friend, on accident. Whew, dude, what are you going to what? Fart. Fart in front of your what wife. What if one slips out 23 oh, years in? Fart. It's Listen, over. I think that you two need to get together, light a candle, a, and just fart. Why the together. candle? Because it's like a More little. More romantic. Little experience like a little oh like like a ceremony seance. not a seance um, I mean, we're not conjuring anything maybe no i'm good i don't want to do that no i know i just send you stuff because i think it's fun. when you guys go number two do you light a match after and try to cover the smell up and stuff nope no that's disgusting oh, so you don't worry about the smell i hate no, the match awful. smell i think i'd rather have the other smell than the match smell potpourri hate... too is awful yeah it all just of smells that like crap. whatever flavor it is with poo Exactly. Poof, Are you talking about that scented, crap that you put in the toilet water now? Poopery? No, that actually, the, the pre spray works. Does that work? Yeah. Poopery. But who can ever remember to spray before you poop? Do Not you know me. what it is? It's an oil that sits on top of the water. I heard about this. Yeah. You spray it in the toilet before you go, and then it's just like, it's awesome. My but grandpa, it's a fake smell. It's I can never you. remember to do it. My papa, he loved this story. He talked to an EMT one time that. They did the match thing. So you poo and then light a match to cover up the oh, smell and then put the match in the toilet. So my papa talked to an EMT in Pennsylvania who had gone to a call. This guy had pooed. Is it poo or poop? Well, I don't know. He had lit a, he lit a match and <laughs> poo just seems a little nicer. Yeah, it feels more like delicate. It. I think poo sounds worse. My he kids had, say poo. He had gone doo-doo, lit a match, threw it in the toilet. It blew him through the wall, and when the EMT got there, his head was in the drywall. He was stuck. Because <laughs> his wife had emptied out a hairspray can oh. into the toilet. <laughs> he walked right in, pooed, pooed, and it blew. And he was the EMT said he asked me, "Is my is my wiener still there?" Like <laughs> it had blew him off the toilet. What what luck. <laughs> <laughs> That's Am I amazing. still intact? My grandpa loved that story <laughs> he so love much. That story. I love that story. He That's just thought great. that was the funniest thing. Oh, Papa. <laughs> yeah. And That's he would great. he'd start a story. My grandpa, when he was telling a story, he would say your name five, six. Jeremy. Now, Jeremy. And listen, Jeremy. Then what now Jeremy. Now Jeremy. Like he I'm I'm right here. Yeah. You know, <laughs> I haven't left you. <laughs> Jennifer. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. I forgot how we even got on that. Man, the other night when I saw RFK. He got up and he, he apparently he, he does these comedy nights, right? So he had gotten up at another comedy place. I guess another person was doing a show. He got up at his show and he said he came out and there were 17,000 people there and he gave a little spiel and he started to tell a joke and his wife came out and just pulled him off stage. She was like, uh, no. Are you serious? Yeah. And so it last 
whenever I saw him, he was like, um, but she's not here tonight. <laughs> Did he sell it? He told this dirty joke. <laughs> <laughs> he won you back over it with the dirty oh, joke. Oh man, it was, but it was so cute. Did and he funny. deliver it? I love him. He delivered it. He did. He was great, and it was like Irish accent, the whole thing. It was really funny. That is funny. I cannot wait for what comes of whatever happens with the presidential debates because <sighs> you could blow Biden over with a. He just needs a gust. Yeah, I just picture somebody <laughs> with one of those things. You know how if you have a fireplace, you can get one of those oh, things that blows out some air? You know what I'm talking about? You yeah, like a, yeah, and I, don't I just know, but feel I like, a billow. I mean, if you just went to Biden, he would just be like. <laughs> I know. All Trump has to do is just show up and say hello. And he'll fall over. But he's not going to. He's such If a... he would just be nice. Well, not nice. If he would just. Trump's not going to debate? Oh, no, they're debating. Well, apparently they're debating. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You know, I, it's going to be rough. It's going to be hard to watch. One thing we it's gonna haven't. It's going to be awesome to watch. What are you talking about? We're 31 episodes in, and we have not talked politics on this show, really. Um, if you're. Jennifer's you finally. Know, if you're listening, Jennifer's making all crazy eyes. Um, Get my hat on. Well, the, I mean, I mentioned when I, you know, her and I are both really interested in RFK, and we have been. I mean, she is, she's an OG fan. And on my newsletter, I wrote about it one time, and I got people. I people mean, were mad. People were mad. Jeremy, this is not your thing. Last time I checked, you're not a licensed counselor. You shouldn't be giving advice on stuff like this. And wow. well, I was like, Whoa. so are a licensed counselor? What that for real? That word? Do they give yeah. advice on politics? I don't know, but they're like, I'm you not anything, be. but I talk about politics all the time. You do. You're not nothing to me. You're not a big Aww. pile of nothing. Wow. I'm just a big nothing. <laughs> A Brian so sketch. how do you? Here's a question from a, the most non-political person in this room. Mm. How where do you go for? Um, like I was listening to Smartless yeah. podcast the other day, yeah. and he they had. Did they have Biden on they that had night? Biden. Oh, they had the. Trio. But they had Obama and, and Clinton, Clinton because I just don't think he can make appearances by himself on that. Like I don't think he can hold his own with those guys. He can't even get through a 10 second clip without cuts. I mean, if you watch a 10 second clip of him. Yeah. There are five cuts in it. They can't even get through it. But I will say, as I was listening to this podcast, I got already turned off. It's like, it, it was, a, it was, I thought it'd be funny. Like, I actually am curious to hear three presidents get together yeah. and then chop it up on like, I want to hear like the dumb stuff. Like what, right. you know, like I'm not here for like a commercial right. for any one candidate. Exactly. Like I want to yeah. know, I want to know the inside yes. scoop well, about Biden different stuff. Biden is for sure stuff. pooping his pants. But oh, anyway. Yeah, for sure. But it was very, like it was a commercial for for Biden the Ew, whole time, right? Gross. So it was kind of in the in the guys that were interviewing were very was very obvious. they were very political. It's very obvious. It wasn't like they're trying to have yeah. like a fun interview. But anyways, as I was listening to it, I got caught up in some of the things they were saying and presenting as facts. And I'm just like, I don't know how to and this goes for both sides. I don't know how to dispute these quote unquote facts. Okay. Like if someone's like well, the other side might say this, but we know for a fact that oh, jobs are, there was more jobs than there's ever been in the economy. I'm yeah. like, I don't know. I just know it costs me an arm and a leg to live and gas yeah. is high. And I don't, but I'm not a political person. I just know it's cost more to live now than ever for me. Yeah. yeah. You know, Biden but, says that he came into office and inflation was at 9%. It's such a lot. It's a flat out lie. So is that the <laughs> thing? Like without one side or the other, is it, are you just getting lied to? Yes. All right. You're so, just getting right. lied to. Are you just now arriving to this? You're just getting well, lied to. So the yeah, kind of. So what the question is: <laughs> Where do you is go the most for truth? Enneagram Seven, I think I've <laughs> ever heard. Right. That's why I don't say because I just figure both sides are lying to me, and I don't actually know where to go to get the yeah. right answer. Oh yet. right. No, I get that. Well, I mean, like the, so, their big talking point is that crime is down. It's lower than it's ever been. Well, the reason they say that is because a lot of people don't even report to that agency anymore, where they're getting their statistic. Right. Okay. So it's not even. But is that true? Yes, that's true. But right. That's, that's my point. That? Uh, how do you know the information you're getting is true? That you make that you're so because you guys. In on? I know. What if the people are lying to you about the stuff that you believe? Because I'm not getting it from a politician. I'm getting oh. it from several sources who are not politicians. And they don't. Oh, that door's open. Um. Yeah. I don't know. It's just because it's. It's just can be traced i don't know 
You know, I, I heard somebody say this about a year ago. I was listening, you know, just trying to get better at what I do. And I was listening to this talk about arguments and stuff. And this person said this thing. And I was like, well, that doesn't seem right. And she said, well, we know facts don't win arguments. And I was like, well, they don't. But actually, I've tried to pay attention, and they don't. No, they don't. For most people, facts don't win what arguments. What does win an argument? Well, I don't know. But, you know, if you and I argue, we argue about something, and then the argument becomes about what we just said. Well, no, you didn't say that. And I go, well, I said this. And you go, no, I, you didn't say that. And I go, <laughs> you know what I mean? And we try to throw out facts. We need a stenographer. But you anyway. are a stenographer. I mean, she. Well, we have an argument, and she goes, nope, that's not what you said. It went just like that. I said, I don't need what I said read back to me. <laughs> you actually Focus do. on the the theme, the message. Right, the, the overall, the but, overarching point. But sh- this person is right. Like, in this, okay. in this thing that I'm doing. So what do you, you do? Know, I'm, I'll I'm tell you what Obama to, said. I'm trying to do this what thing. What did Obama say? Go ahead. He said, oh, people don't, on this podcast, he said, people don't care about the data or the facts. What they care about are stories. So if someone tells a compelling story okay. about how their life was changed or how something or whatever, that's a, that people tend to believe someone's story. Because what is true, like politically, whatever you can argue, but like you can't, ar- what I just said, you can't right. argue with. Right. The fact that it costs me more to live. Right. That's my experience. That's your experience. That's live my experience. story. And that's, you can argue all they want, but that's true. Like yeah. I can tell you that's true for me. So the w- reason why that's true, I may not know. You can debate that, but you can't right. debate the fact that it it's it costs more to put gas in my car today than it used to. Absolutely. Exactly. So people's stories matter. And your, that's, your personal experience is the truest thing about you. And it's really what you have. This is the whole point. I'm so glad we got here. Oh, Cause good. Because I've just Finally. now, after 32 episodes, realized <gasps> that's what this, that's what the, the gospel according to Jeremy is the truest thing about me. You can argue the Bible. You can argue the traditions. You, but I go, here's what the Lord did in my life. Now. Mm-hmm. Lived experience. You can't. You can't. Like, right. I got sick and my life is better. Well, no, that was the enemy. And, we, and I go, well, look, here's all I got. Yeah. This is what I got. What you're saying is, it cost me a lot more to live. So yeah. give me all the facts you want. Give me all the facts about how you came in at 9%, and now it's 3.4. And yeah. We moved on past that fact. I'm saying that's a fact that is being quoted. It's just okay. not true. But it doesn't win or lose an argument. That's and it's the thing. a lie. Well, it doesn't matter. Well, it, because our lived experience goes, you're, that's not true in my life. Right. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm trying to say. Well, what about going to the moon? I mean, we could have people go, I was I was there. <laughs> Listen, this is something I'm passionate this about. This is true. I look at Drew and he goes. Yep. I want to hear what you have to say because <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm deeply invested in this. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. What about the moon? Well, we have people that just go, there's no way. I mean, Dusty Slay thinks that spaceships are pointed so that they can break Dusty through Slay. the... Bl- and I, he is my favorite. I Dusty love Dusty Slay. Dusty Slay is a smart man. But... <laughs> I, I think I want him. I've asked him twice to be on this podcast. He is my favorite. But he has facts. And he also thinks that rocket ships are pointed the way they are. So did that he say they that? Or did Nate Bargetsy say that? I think they both said. They agreed on they it. They thought it had to pierce through the atmosphere, which after hearing that guy, I'm like, well, maybe that is <laughs> oh, true. No. <laughs> Makes That's sense to me. That's kind of what he said. Nobody's broken out of it yet. Makes sense. Does it does? Did so you, you see the Northern Lights s- when I s- came here? No, I was laying in bed. No one even told me. Well, what happened? The Northern Lights. How about that? It's a bunch of BS. What is? It did. It's not real. What, what, what they were was running that? experiments. Oh my god! Wow. What kind of experiments? I will send you the thing. Oh my god! I, you got to send it me the place beautiful. where you're getting all the absolute truth from. Listen, I because that's sources. where I, facts. <laughs> I need facts here. They don't win that, arguments. What's the that's point? That's the name of your podcast. Facts. No, absolute truth. <laughs> With Jennifer Dibler. <laughs> yeah. I don't, here's the thing. I'm just going to form all my opinions based on the research you've done. I love that. So that's all I want. Just that's feed all me. I want is for somebody. So to what do was that the Northern Lights then? It was. It was that. Um, we don't know this. She does. She's got an inside. She's got some kind of it secret channel. It was a solar channel. flare. It was not. And the solar, that's why all of our crap up. wasn't working right. 
They were covering it up. It's it was a, a big, big cover up. up. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Well, for what? What were they covering? How many Guys. facts would I have to bring to you to even get you to entertain the fact, to entertain the idea that you're wrong? The fact? You just said the, the fact that I'm wrong. Um, I don't know. How many would I have to bring you? Uh, I mean, to go against the. But see, you have decided that the facts that are being presented are false. I'm not, because this is the thing. I'm not saying it. I watched it, I filmed it. I was excited about it. Because you could only see it through your phone, right? No, you could see it. Oh, you could? You could, but I mean, it looked better on your phone. I what? missed it. I why, are you, why are you? Why do you just look exasperated? I was laying in bed watching Cops. Oh, I that's love right. Cops. Bad boy. No, I got to go back and get the reruns. Okay. Oh man, I'll just chain smoke episodes of Cops. Right that's on. So love that's it. how I am with ridiculous. You know why? You know that's why? Too. Why? Because you're from Florida. It's your people. Yeah, honestly, I'm <laughs> looking at my old friends and family. <laughs> your people. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> man, I'm sitting at the Starbucks in Maitland and Winter Park, Florida. It is beautiful. Oh my gosh! And it's these stunning morons, there. their cars are so loud that you can't even sit out there and talk. That? It's like, what? Why did I just purr? That's like a car. Hey, can we clear something up real quick? Yeah. What's that? That I'm the smartest person you no. know. No. Okay. And somebody, no. somebody can write this. I'll write and, it down. No, you don't need to write it down. I'm just saying somebody can respond and tell us the truth about this. Oh, jeez. The absolute truth. But how do we say data? Data it, or data? And when you say the data suggests, or the data suggests, like what, is it plural? A data... I, I say data because data how was funny that you're the guy on Star Trek. Okay, Right. Okay. Now, if you're going to tell me about facts and you go, the, would you say, I've been looking at the data and the data show is or the data are, are the data, the data are showing the data, the, the data is showing. Okay. So I it's think singular. I've heard it both ways. Showing. It's kind of like people are saying now when they say media, they're going, the uh, media are corrupt. Sound like something. I'm like, the media are corrupt. The media is corrupt. Like, I don't understand it. I don't know. Mm. There's pro- we need Amanda. Who's Amanda? Amanda Steed. Tell oh, us. Oh, my editor. Tell us. Tell us. We need your Amanda, help. if you're listening, I realized the last week that I still owe you money for <laughs> editing my book. She edited all four of my we know We owe books. so many people money right now. <laughs> Who else do we owe money? Oh, my gosh. Our tax lady. A plus, I mean... Yeah, I'll give you the list afterwards. Are you? There's a list. There's a list. Oh God, dang! You guys are in debt. We need money. I'll give my Venmo in the show notes. With this show doesn't make money. Well, how many do we need? How many money do we need? I don't know. <laughs> the de- the money, money are money? the money are showing. How many money do we need? I don't know. Just are we broke? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Have I'm. Have either obese. of us looked at the bank account lately? I did today. I looked at don't it. Don't at today. some point they shut it off. You can't. You have to stop spending stuff or no? Yeah. Well, that's usually how we know we're out. This usually, yeah. One of us calls the other and goes, "Hey, the card's not working." <laughs> <laughs> Someone should go card. in there and check. <laughs> God, I'm I'm glad that Jamie does that stuff because she finds stuff all the time. I never look. I saw a meme the other day that said there are two people in a marriage, one that does the money and one that's happy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm a, I'm oblivious to that, so I'm just like, I'm just going to go out and make it, and then you just decide where it goes. Man, our, our life I don't was, make it, Our life was I'm better oblivious. when she did the money. Our life was better when she took care of our it. Our life was better. You were the fun, You were the one that was happy at that no. point. No. I think the person who spends more money, oh, and that's, be, that's not because she shops a lot. It's because she like she knows who we owe money to. I feel like that person should do the money. Mm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Don't you? But you make the money, so. I well, do. Jamie is way more disciplined and conservative with spending than I do, so it's better for us to have her like. Because I just don't. Yeah, do I'm not budget. It's very loose. Yeah, that's yeah. Ours we too. need a budget. Yeah, you need I to go say to that. Dave Ramsey. I uh, say that, and then I don't want to do it. We have a credit card. I know Dave Ramsey doesn't listen to this podcast. We talked about him last week, but we have a credit card. 
he's somewhere he's pissed. <laughs> well, I think he, that's he just, just feels it. That's just his general disposition now. <laughs> we knew him when he wasn't. He wasn't always Ooh. pissed. No, I don't think that's so. Fighting I think, words. I think he's taken a beating and it's made him harden a little bit. Like he's always on the defensive. He, well, I, I mean, don't know. People that How want do you to know? Kill do, him. do you watch him Oof. or listen I've, to him? I've listened to some of some his clips. Stuff. Some clips that pop up. We found yeah. ourselves at an event a couple of years ago, sitting next to one another, and he wasn't the warmest. Really? Mm-mm. Well, yeah, he's. He's always he been wasn't kind of, mean or anything, he's but he wasn't been trying kind of to like prickly. Has he? Yeah. We had a lot of fun. We played his Christmas party one, one year, and he and I sat next to each other, and we just we just dreamed and schemed the whole time. Matter of fact, his wife looked at Jennifer and said, "We lost them. They're dreaming and scheming." Because yeah. he just has idea after idea after idea. Um, we probably would have hit it off then, but I'm just a peon. You wouldn't hit it off. You don't know enough information. <laughs> What is that? Oh, about what do you about, about anything about anything in the world? <laughs> He's like, let's talk about something. I'm like, listen, I don't know anything about anything. He's like, but did we go to the moon, Drew? Uh, and now I can say maybe. I have no idea. <laughs> it's up in the air. <laughs> well, we did before this podcast started. Yeah, and now we did. And now we don't know. Listen, everybody, we're an hour in. Um, I had I was going to do the cards this week. Uh, we were going to talk about New York. I have uh, maybe I'll do this next week. We um, I have you know I I have some clients, especially right now, that are going through some stuff, and I've heard this phrase probably more in the past two weeks. I'll say, how do you feel about that? And they literally say, I don't I don't know how I feel. And so I've got this little tool that I use with these cards where I just lay words out for people, and, and, I'll, and it, I'll see if they have like a body reaction to the words. And I was going to do that with you guys this week. <sighs> Um, but I now, asked you real early on if we had a topic, and you just well, let's blew do this, me off. Let's totally do this next ignored week. me. Let's do the cards next week. Okay. Um, <laughs> well, that, is that how I sound? Uh, sometimes. Every time we're in a fight, <laughs> this is the voice I use. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I make the money. I'm going to do the money. That's, good. <laughs> That's not how he sounded oh, earlier. You have, you have several different voices for him. Do I? Yeah. Remember the one you made earlier? Of him, or did I make that up in my head? I don't know. You've been doodling. Look at what You're this turned into. With us, well, it's a very faceted jewel. It's cool, isn't it? It's your new tattoo. Ooh, <gasps> lower back. <laughs> tramp, <laughs> tramp stamp. Oh, I could get this one around my navel. See right there. Those would be good around your nips. You know what? You and I are we're around Drew, your navels. Drew and I are both. <laughs> uh, we haven't even talked about this. We're both trying to eat less food and lose weight. We You're should, doing better than I we am. We should get a tattoo and see how it shrinks. Oh, please do not do that. That's a good idea. We should. That's brilliant. Right. That I'm is down. A brilliant idea. What should we get tattoos, Drew? Me and you. I think so. What would be your next one? I don't even exist. Uh, I know you're not. Gonna you're not. Fun. My next tattoo. I don't have an idea on my next tattoo. Post Malone. <laughs> <laughs> get some teardrops. Yeah. For every pound I lose. <laughs> <laughs> my face would cover a hundred teardrops. Uh, are you trying a hundred? I I prob I would be that'd be fun if I could get if I could lose a hundred pounds. I'm trying to do fifty. I'd probably be Gumby ish if I lost a hundred because I'm I can't tall. Imagine but imagine you a hundred pounds. I can't imagine you either of you. That sounds ridiculous to well, me. I, I may have said this on the podcast, but before I moved to California, my neurologist was like, "Look, man, you if you gain five five pounds in a year, you're going to be fifty pounds overweight." And I didn't take it as a warning. It was almost like a challenge. Yeah, and I did it. So if I if I lose a hundred pounds and you lose fifty, can we do a swimsuit calendar? Yes, because that Me, would be awesome. You and Jennifer. All right. Well, so we can. each get we each it. get four months down. What I need to lose weight then? You're good. You're no, fine. I gotta lose ten pounds. I don't uh, even remember the last time I saw you in a swimsuit. I don't ever wear a swimsuit. You're not old enough to do the skirt. Don't do the swim set, swimsuit with the skirt <laughs> on the bottom. Face. No, 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 so no. Skirting it up. We're not doing it. <laughs> skirt. Oh, summer do, 2024. If you do swimsuit Spring. with a skirt, yeah, I'm out. You're doing <laughs> like out in the horse. The big D. And you don't mean wow. Dallas. You are too pretty to do the swimsuit with the skirt. You think yeah. about yeah. you thinking about the skirt? Nice. I've worn the skirt for a year. What are you talking about? That was sexy though. You can't do the mom swimsuit that comes from here. That goes the whole almost to the knees. No. Twenty twenty four. No, but rolling you're skirt in the it skirt. Up. No way. No. Hey, listen, he, this, he's I'm out of this one. Threatening to leave me over this. He's passionate about this. He's, this is his. If his I do deal skirt, breaker. you're doing speedo. 
How does that work? What? Is that, is that like your threat? That's a good threat. I don't want you to wear Speedo. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want you to wear Speedo. I don't want to see that. No. You can do the... the you can do the brief, the whatever. Just oh you cannot do the skirt. We're wearing briefs. You know what I mean, though. The the swimsuit with a lot of coverage or whatever. <laughs> the briefs. What are you talking about? He just not the boxer. You can't wear the. You can draw it. Look, here's the deal. Okay. This is what I'm talking about. Okay, what the, are those? The, these are straps. The arms oh. come out here. Wow, this is the heads up here. So and the oh, people you're that are audio, upside down. yeah, okay. for you to see. Oh, okay. okay. So wow. I'm, I'm talking a big about forehead. that's so true to life. <laughs> the the skirt thing. <laughs> you're drawing this like, to scale. Oh, look, here's my forehead. We're not doing this. My gosh, that's like a Pentecostal woman that's a, in a normal outfit. That's what outfit. they look that's like. A it's a sundress. Beach. That's a sundress. But that's the thing. That's the, is it all one piece with the skirt? They do that. Well, it might have a little cinching like a right here, you know. But then there's this. Honey, what is that? That does not look flat. What I'm saying for you, I don't care if you do this thing. You know, here's the, you know, the, the boobs. And then the big, you know, some girls. <laughs> oh, like a bikini skirt? Yeah. No, no, no. I don't care if you do like this thing. <laughs> that looks highly uncomfortable. You know what I'm talking about, though, with the hot, <laughs> like you, you, you normally wear the this. <laughs> what is happening? That's a bikini. <laughs> You normally wear like the bikini. Face. That's a face. No, that's the the that's body a goes tongue through there. and those are eyes. That looks like a yeah a mustache with a. What is that? dude? Wait a minute, that's a little getting. I wish our people that were listening could see the masterful. See no, they can't. Nobody can see it. Here's what I'm saying. This one is painful. Well, it, there's just a string in the back. God, that <laughs> looks horrible. <laughs> painful. So uh, that one's okay. That one's fine. Yeah. Yeah. You think until you actually see that that's like happen. Wonder, that's Wonder Woman. There. And then you're like, oh, God. Skirt. Cover, cover the, get the skirt on, babe. No. I didn't notice all those dimples. We're not doing the skirt. Listen, I need something to cover up all the cellulite. No, you don't. Yeah. No. Something happened about two years ago, and I became orange COVID. peel. Is that the vitamin you're taking? Cellulite? Yeah, exactly. It I'm looks like it. out of this one. Huh? I'm staying out of this one. Have you heard the people that that they're coming up with names that if they weren't negative they would name their baby? Yes, that's oh, pretty yeah, that's funny. That's really cute. Like cellulite or or not that, but there's a few that I saw that. That was that's pretty really funny. Cute. Yeah, it's yeah. really cute. All right, everybody, uh, like, subscribe <sighs> um, before you unsubscribe. Maybe one day we'll talk about my trip to New York. Probably not though. Uh, the, they went to New York. They got to go on stage at Hamilton. It was fun. Wow. There you have it. Do you want to talk more about it? No. It good. wasn't that basically it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> sure. Well, give us. Give You're us, the one that wanted to talk about it. I, I don't care. I did, but we got sidetracked with so many other things. Okay. We covered a lot of ground in this episode. Um, I feel. All right. So high quality. Next week we'll we'll do the New York City recap. No, I don't care about it. We'll do maybe the cards. We'll do and the cards. If we, what did we say? If we lose between us 150 pounds, we're doing a swimsuit calendar. I'm not doing this. I have to do 100. You have to do 50. Pre-order. We're going to put Hutch's Venmo up. And Don't give oh, him yeah. the money for the calendar. Put, send some money to Hutch. We just, should do a Kickstarter just campaign. Just put in the oh notes of your of the Venmo notes. Just put swimsuit calendar. Okay. No. <laughs> Don't send him the money for the soda. Okay. Yeah. Hutch. Send Hutch. 48 cents for the spin drift yes. so he can go and get more spin drift okay that is all hilarious. right let me how do we um well just it's at hutch dash dibler or something like that i'm how sure do, how do, are I you can't paying look him how do you know no i don't know i'm just guessing oh. <laughs> so, i think it's just at hutch dibler but i'm not maybe, sure i bet it is yeah I'd have to look, but my phone's being used. All right, yeah. so... At, well, 48 cents if, of that. If we had a producer, they would put it they in the show notes. They might put a QR code in the show notes or something. Mm, yeah. It's too much work. Okay, bye, everybody. We don't get paid enough. <laughs>